Hello friend this is Sunil Sharma here from Speed Math and in today's video we are going to understand what are real numbers. So to understand real numbers let's take help of my friends which is Mr. Logic and Mr. Math. So we are going to have a discussion and we are going to derive what are real numbers. So without any further ado let's begin with the discussion. Mr. Logic says what are natural numbers? Mr. Math says that's easy. Counting numbers are said to be natural numbers. That is numbers starting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on are called as natural numbers. Okay, so what are whole numbers Mr. Logic says? Mr. Math says that's pretty easy. Just add 0 to the natural numbers and that collection will be called as whole numbers. Mr. Logic says okay, then what are integers then? Mr. Math says that's pretty easy again. Just add negative numbers before the whole numbers. So this new collection of positive numbers, negative numbers along with 0 are called as integers Mr. Logic. Wow, says Mr. Logic. But Mr. Logic says are we missing anything? Mr. Math says yes. Yes, definitely we are missing fractions. Look at the example 3 upon 2. Mr. Logic says, okay, but what do we call such numbers then? Mr. Math says, hmm, let's think. Mr. Logic says, observe these numbers are in the form of a ratio. Mr. Math says, oh yes, let us use adjectives of ratio to describe such type of numbers. Mr. Logic says, that's easy, adjective of ratio is rational. Mr. Math says, that's it. We will call these numbers as rational numbers. Mr. Logic says, but how do we define rational numbers? Mr. Math says, that's easy. You can see the fraction above. The numerator is an integer. The denominator is an integer. So we can say rational numbers are ratio of integers. Mr. Logic says, agreed. But are all fraction rational numbers? Mr. Math says, nope. Let's observe the fractions. Mr. Math says for a number to be rational number both numerator and denominator has to be integers. Mr. Logic says are only fractions rational numbers? Mr. Math says nope, let's take an integer. Now you can see 3 can be written in the ratio form as 3 upon 1. Observe the numerator and denominator both are integers over here. So since 3 can be expressed as ratio of 2 integers therefore 3 is a rational number. Mr. Math says numbers which can be expressed as ratio of 2 integers are also called as rational numbers. Mr. Logic says if that is the case then all integers are also rational numbers isn't it? Mr. Math says yes of course we can write 1 below every number and convert it into a ratio. For example 0 upon 1, 1 upon 1 and so on and so forth. So my dear friends, rational numbers are numbers which can be expressed in the form of p upon q where p is a numerator and q is the denominator where p and q are integer. That's a very very important condition. Mr. Logic says but then even 0 is an integer so can we take the denominator as 0? Mr. Math says you have asked a very good question. Let's take an example. Let's take a fraction 12 upon 0. Observe 12 upon 0 does not exist. Why? Because 0 cannot divide 12 hence 12 upon 0 does not exist. So the denominator cannot be 0 so therefore there is a condition on the denominator q it cannot be 0. So now our definition of rational number is complete. So rational numbers are numbers which can be expressed in the form of p upon q where p and q are integers and q that is a denominator cannot be zero. Mr. Math says observe here rational number is the biggest collection and natural number integers whole numbers everything is a part of rational number. Mr. Logic says are there any numbers which are not rational? Mr. Math says yes there are numbers which cannot be expressed as ratio of two integers. For example, square root of 2. I can very well write square root of 2 as square root of 2 upon 1. But observe, the denominator is an integer. But the numerator square root of 2 is not an integer. So I'm not able to express square root of 2 as ratio of two integers. So square root of 2 is not a rational number. In fact, it has a property exactly opposite to rational number. Mr. Logic says, wow, so these numbers are exactly opposite of rational numbers. Mr. Math says, yes, and opposite of rational number is termed as irrational. So we are going to call these numbers as irrational numbers. 
Mr. Logic says we have two different set of numbers that are rational numbers and irrational numbers. Mr. Math says yes and the entire collection of rational and irrational numbers my dear friend are termed as real numbers. So when I say real numbers it's a collection of rational and irrational numbers. So my dear friends I hope you have enjoyed learning real numbers with me. If you have liked it do share it with your friends and do hit like button. It will help me motivate to make more such videos. Thank you for listening to me. Peace.